Next project we have going on is a 1969 Westfalia VW Camper Special Bus. Um, picked this up from a customer in South Carolina, building it for someone here in Chattanooga. Um, it's going to be quite the project. We're going to be doing quite a bit of metal work, rust repair, uh, full interior, redoing the pop-up top, um, going through the whole drive line on it, disc brake conversion. Pretty much going to try to make it as modern as we possibly can for still what it is, but keep it classic. Um, a few of the things we'll be doing is a lot of rust repair on the front nose section. Um, pretty common, it seems, that the windows leak. Uh, the windshield itself, which was uh, taken out the floor pan, took out the actual front nose area here, some supports, the dog leg, front fender has quite a bit of rust in it. Um, and then also try to straighten out all of the very creative work it's had done over the years. Um, someone decided to cut the seat area out and weld in a whole bunch of interesting metal. But uh, give you a quick overview of this thing with some doors open, a little better angle. Overall, structurally, this thing's pretty solid. Um, quite a bit of very normal rust in the front, I assume, based off of how many repair panels are available for these things. Um, had a bunch of wood paneling inside of it, so we gutted that already. But you can see the floors are shot. Somebody did the uh, fiberglass repair. You need a whole new dash. Probably have to reuse the instrument cluster um, and figure out what we're doing with this seat. I don't know if you want to call it repair or what have you. Um, the floor in the rear has a couple small areas that we'll be addressing. Um, does not need the entire floor section, thankfully. That was one very big concern that we had going into this project. Um, it did have an engine fire in the back when this thing was uh, delivered. It didn't have an engine in it. So I just kind of stuffed it in to mock it up. Get that actually assembled get it started, move in driving before we get really carried away just to make sure that it's halfway healthy. Um, not a whole lot of repair here in the rear, thankfully. Definitely gonna be doing some time on this rear hatch. Again, for this older vehicle, it's kind of common. Um, I'm not sure exactly what was going on here, but uh, I'm gonna be redoing the wood that is actually a wood frame that holds the canopy up. I'm guessing that was their fix instead of refiberglassing the wood in. Um, just expanding foamed it and said good enough. So we do our complete makeover on the top section itself. Um, this is gonna be as close to a frame off you can do, humanly possible to these things. Um, the passenger section, basically the same. Nice window to the outside for you in the floor. Didn't come with a whole lot of pieces. It was already lowered in the front. I'm not sure if the uh, client's wanting to keep it lowered or not. That's really going to determine what we do with the seat section. Um, they ended up cutting the seat out, I'm guessing, for clearance for the wheel once they lowered it. Could be wrong, but it doesn't seem to be any rust in there. It's the only thing I can come up with. Uh, we're going to put all new fabric in. They had solar panels on this thing, so we're going to be filling in a lot of drilled holes, getting this thing watertight again. I'm um, going to be doing custom headliner. I'm probably doing a fold-down bed. Uh, I know they're wanting to take uh, the family out camping in this thing, so I'm not sure exactly the plan. We're going to be meeting on Saturday with the... Uh, customers and seeing what their what their idea for this thing interior wise is but we're going to try to make as much of it as possible I think it's gonna be a pretty neat project I'm a little concerned about the 53 horsepower this thing produces I know we had talked about doing AC on this I'm not sure if that's going to be in the cards still or not with how much power it robs and uh we're real close to the Smoky Mountains, so I can see that being an issue, especially with the lack of power this thing has. 
Um, might end up talking him into going with a Subaru engine swap. It just kind of depends on how much he wants to keep this original. I think he's wanting to pretty much do a very correct restore on it. So either way, it's going to be a really neat example. Good thing to start with, with the market values today. I don't think he got hurt on purchase price. Just like anything you get this age, it's going to have uh, hidden fun things that you find. <laughs> Hopefully I don't find a lot underneath here. But we'll fix it as we need. It's just metal. And the uh, aftermarket's actually, to my surprise, very good for these. You can pretty much order just about any panel you want on it. Um, overall, I think we're going to have a pretty interesting project. Definitely a lot different than I'm used to. I'm a uh, more of a classic American V8, Ford Mustang, Dodge kind of working mechanic on these kind of things, but definitely had some VW Beetle and Porsche experience way back when. So not too awful difficult. Then one nice part about these is that they are just built so simple. There's not a whole lot of complex mechanisms in it. You know, I was really kind of curious how this whole top operated and I don't know if they could have made it much more simple. They just literally screwed a very simple assembly with a couple manual arms on the inside to hold it up. So it does look like you can convert one of these buses to the uh, pop-up camper fairly easily um, if you can find the fiberglass sections of course but that's the one thing I wasn't sure of if it was even possible I know he's wanting to at least build this one so I'm gonna wait for some pieces to show up before I got to blowing this thing apart I figured I'd just do kind of a overview of the project I'm not gonna be doing uh, hour-long videos on step-by-step -step process, but I will take it into sections, you know, uh, when it's front nose repair day or week, I should say, <laughs> I'll do um, updates and just compile it into one video, I'll try to keep them about 10-15 minutes so we don't get boring. Um, just kind of show you a brief, brief version of what happened, how I went about it, what tools I used. Um, Shouldn't be too complex, so I think it's going to turn out pretty neat. Stay tuned, probably be a good week, two weeks before all the sheet metal I ordered yesterday comes in. Um, I'll get it running in the meantime. Once it gets running and moving around, maybe I'll take a little video of driving. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty scary <laughs> until we go in and replace everything. So, Anyways, we'll keep you updated, and thanks for viewing.